Hello everybody, Brian Gosher here, entrepreneur and internet marketing coach. And I want to talk today about um, the mindset. Um, the mindset that we have in anything we do is very, very important. Um, I was a very active uh, when I was younger in sports. I loved uh, sports and I was I played in a lot of sports. Um, they say um, sports is 90% um, mental and 10% physical and that is really so true um, I remember getting ready for a game as you're preparing your mind you would you would work to get yourself physically fit for whatever game you were doing but it was very important before the game I would want to be getting my mindset to be the best that I could be to push myself to limits that my mind was saying this is as far as you could go Brian don't don't push it I wanted to go beyond that to to be the best I could be and even more and that's really what makes and, and breaks and sets people apart you look at Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan they are so good at uh, uh, the sport that they were they played in because they worked extremely hard harder than anybody else um, Michael Jordan would shoot six to eight hundred shots a day and um, he was just good at, at what he did uh, Tiger Woods started playing when he was three and uh, just became extremely good and not only the practice uh, is good but I think even practicing because you you play like you practice as you practice and I imagine Michael Jordan taking those shots imagining in his head that uh, he's playing in the seventh game of the world championship and he's taking that last second shot for the win you know you, as a kid you would imagine those things you know Tiger Woods lining up for the winning putt you know and to win the Masters and um, it's more it's not just a physical preparation but during those practices you're preparing your mind to the challenge for what you're gonna do not just physically but emotionally and in, in, uh, in the mindset and that's the same with the business um, I don't care what business you're in or what you're doing do you just want to be mediocre I mean you could if that's where you want to be you want to I don't want to be the best um, then you know that's okay but e even in that stage you have to prepare your mind to some extent um, I just got off a phone with a client of mine who we were getting him set up he wanted to do internet marketing he had never done it before we were getting him all set up and then he just called me and just said I, I just don't want to do this um, I, I quit and, and he quit and I think a lot of people do that um, we look at the goals that are at the end of the, of the rainbow we see that all the sparkly nice stuff and the people that are successful at what we're doing we see them and we want to be like them and emulate them but if you ask those people um, they had to work at it you know Michael Jordan just gonna grab a basketball and just run on the court matter of fact I think it's uh, said that in his high school he was turned down to play they wouldn't allow him to on the team so this is something that he worked hard at to get to be a success in any endeavor that you choose you've got to work at it you got to work hard at it and uh, you got to work harder than anybody else in order to pass everybody else up um, I've been blessed to be around some of the top um, earners in network marketing and uh, these people have um, uh, just been an instrument inspirational to me in the work ethic that they have and what they do and uh, and very willing to help you uh, achieve your goals too so um, by all means don't quit um, I know that um, there was a there's a company uh, I global learning that I heard just closed its doors um, I don't know the reasons why or anything like that but there's a lot of people in that company now that are out of work they maybe had worked so hard um, I know one individual in our um, in our group that is just one of the top top people and top earners in that company and uh, and that's just gone now so uh, that's pretty devastating when you work that hard at something and it's just gone so uh, anybody who's in iGlobal and looking for uh, another business opportunity um, I've got a link on my screen um, to uh, my my business my my primary business which is uh, gold and silver you can go to it and uh, we do two webinars a day and take a look at it but um, I feel for those people because um, just as devastating as it is because you work so hard to get something that to lose and to fall short of that victory line is it, it's really hurt because you put a lot into it so I can uh, 
I can emphasize with those people from my, my global learning. But um, the whole idea is that get your mindset that you're going to have to work to become a good network marketer. You're going to have to um, work to fine tune your skills and strategies and techniques that are fit for you, that just fit like a glove. Uh, some things may not be for you. Other things might be for you and you're good at it. So you need to do that. Test the waters. And it does take work. But keeping your mindset, even the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So it's what you feed your mind is going to come out um, in what you do. It's just like a computer. Junk in, junk out. Um, so we have to feed it good stuff and uh, and think about good things. And um, think about not just the, the gold at the end of the, the rainbow, but think about the um, worth ethic and the things you have to do on a continual basis. And I don't mean run yourself to the ground. Don't work 80, 90 hours a week. Take time to re-energize. Take time for your family. Take time. You have to do that or you'll burn out, and that's not a good thing either. So um, that's all I wanted to throw out there today, a little tidbit. I've talked enough. Um, have a great day, and I look forward to talking to you on the next video. God bless you all. Bye-bye.